We continue our post-game coverage here at sfharrys.com and online at YouTube. And now I'm joined by the Harrys head coach, Ozzie Canseco, and one of the big heroes from tonight's game, Brian Humphreys. First and foremost, guys, congratulations on the big win here against Lincoln. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about that first inning. A wild one there, Brian. We'll start with you tonight. Uh, you get the uh, first out of the inning, Grayson at the plate, and then Amy walks, then David Bergen, that big two-run homer. Richard Stock goes back to back with him with the second home run of the inning. You were in the on deck circle at the time. We talked about it just a few minutes ago off the air, but uh, what was going through your mind there after that second home run and the first inning went over the wall? I wasn't trying to do too much. Uh, just trying to get a good pitch to hit, try to get something barrel to the ball, and especially with the lefty being on the mound, something to try to maybe go the other way with. And uh, got a fastball inside, was able to get the uh, good swing on the ball. Now, this is the first time in my career personally that I've seen back to back to back home runs. How about you? Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, nah, I've seen I've seen a few back to back, never back to back to back. It's definitely something very special to be a part of. Ozzy, for you, uh, you received some uh, big dividends from this team offensively here over the last few days. It seems like uh, a more simplistic approach to the plate with these guys has resulted in a few more runs and uh, more offensive production overall. Correct. You know, when I first came here, there's a specific system that I immediately put into place. Number one, see the ball. Number two, uh, attack pitches up in the zone. You can see the ball much more easily up in the zone, and you're going to have much more success success up in the zone. And take the bat from point A to point B, straight to the ball. Seems like a pretty easy, simple approach. And for these guys, obviously, uh, sometimes it's easier not to think quite as much of the play. But it seems like overall it's really paying off. And Brian, I'm sure for you, uh, that easy approach has kind of helped you get out of some of these early season slumps and things like that as well. Definitely, uh, especially hitting in, in general, but especially hitting is very mental. And uh, being able to be able to clear your mind and, and not worry about what pitches being thrown, all this stuff, and just simplify it to just attacking pitches up in the zone. Uh, it definitely makes hitting a lot more simple. Bobby, your, your run support has been amazing. We're talking about 21 runs in the last two games. Talk about like your hitters one through nine. What is something you see out of each hitter per se? Well, uh, we've worked diligently in the batting cages and also here and during live BP on again pitch recognition. When you attack pitches up in the zone, uh, you'll be you're going to be able to recognize rotation much more easily and also um, also see the ball. Um, you know, Humphreys uh, Humphreys is very rare type of hitter because he can hit the pitch up in the zone middle of the zone, and he can also go down and hit that pitch too, So, which is definitely a plus for our squad. Ozzy, uh, so you're in a unique situation with your role as a hitting coach here, and in fact, that you were a, a pitcher before you became a hitter. That's correct. A as, a, as a pitcher. Tonight you get Joe Bircher out the hill, throwing five in the third innings there, shut out baseball before things kind of slipped away from him. Mm-hmm. But when you get a good start from your starter, that takes a lot of pressure off your hitters, and kind of makes everything gel together a little bit you know, absolutely. I, I think if, if your hitters are performing well, I mean, we, we put up, what, five or four, five, six runs in that very first inning. I think it takes a lot of the pressure off of our starting pitchers. It allows them to throw more strikes, throw more fastballs, and, and work ahead of hitters. So, you know, again, we had outstanding, outstanding hitting early on, quality pitching, and therefore the win. Jason Rapko, guy who's been kind of that, that glue or that igniter in this team all season long. Came up with a big play at right field there late in the game. Obviously, there was a big lead for the Canaries, but uh, to see that effort from, from a veteran on your squad to dive for a ball, make the big catch, and have the presence of mind to throw it back to first, you love to see that. And that's probably a, a nice reminder for some of these younger players to continue to play hard and even in those late game situations. You know, when you see a guy that, that's played five, six, seven, eight years in the big leagues, he's in the twilight of his career at this point. Uh, making that type of effort as, as as young players, you can't help but try to follow up with uh, with quality uh, effort uh, on the ball field. Absolutely. Brian, for you, uh, one final question. Uh, it seems like now at this point in the season, this team is really starting to gel offensively. And you get nights like this night and even the night before where things start to go well offensively. It's got to be mentally for you a positive and kind of encourages you. That those things can trickle down and become – not necessarily a one-day or a two-day thing, but it can turn into a week-long affair and things can really start to click on the offensive side. Definitely. Uh, it's baseball is extremely mental, but it also has to do a lot with confidence. Uh, when you've got an entire lineup being able to hit, you know, I guarantee you 
Lincoln tomorrow after putting up, what, 20-plus runs in the last two games is is going to be very aware of, of how we've been hitting the ball. And that, that's going to play into the, into the game tomorrow. And be able to, having a day game tomorrow, uh, less than 24 hours, be able to carry over the momentum that we've had tonight into tomorrow. Well, guys, congratulations on the victory, and hopefully we'll have a few more of these down the road as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you and Brian Humphrey who's joining us in our post-game chat. Be sure to watch these on SF Interviews each and every night on YouTube throughout the course of the season. We'll see you next time.